What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to create a single use customized coupon code for our WooCommerce WordPress store for free into a simple, fast and effective method. I know that every one of us loves a discount coupon when we are purchasing something so it can be a decision maker when we attempt to purchase something okay so coupons it's really really good but how to limit coupons how to create customized coupons for your potential customers to convince someone that is contacting you for a per sale question is what you're gonna learn into this video but before i can continue please take a moment to hit the subscribe button like this video and share this content with a friend of yours you have no idea how much it helps us because you bring daily videos about wordpress seo plugins optimizations and many many more topics in order to use internet on a site's favor so let's get this started very first thing to do is navigate your wordpress live sidebar of menus hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new and make sure that you have the WooCommerce plugin installed if you don't know how to install WooCommerce or set up we have a full playlist on youtube.com visual Moro channel okay go there find the playlist and install WooCommerce Assuming that you already have WooCommerce installed, review the left sidebar of menus on the WordPress dashboard, hover your mouse over marketing, okay? And click on coupons. Here is the place that we're gonna be creating your coupons, okay? Create your first coupon, in the case that you have no one, or go to add coupon to the upper left corner. Now we have two fields, the coupon code, RRRR, and the description, okay? So right here we're gonna up enter the coupon code, the code that's gonna be added for in order to the, receive the discount into the coupon field. Now we have the discount type, we can fix it car discount, percentage discount, or fix it product discount, it can be a percentage discount and a coupon of 10%. We can apply some experience to as per date, okay, to have the coupon finish it. You can leave empty in the case you do not want this coupon to expire. Now, this is where we have to start. This little tab right here next to general usage restriction. We have minimum spend. So imagine that you quote this coupon. It's only workable in the case that the user spends $100 on your store, for example. So we're going to enter right here with the 100 okay? Simple as it is. And the maximum spend. There is no maximum. Individual use only. Check this box if the coupon cannot be used in conjunction with other coupons. This is really, really important, okay? Exclude sales items, up to you. Now we can add this coupon to work into some products of our shop. And if you leave empty, this coupon is going to work in all of the products of your shop. We can exclude some products. We can enter products category or exclude products categories. And we can even allow allow the emails or not okay so imagine that only a specific email that customer is allowed to purchase this using this coupon you're gonna enter the email right here but after this made let's go to usage limits and here is the most important thing usage limit per coupon okay so how many coupons can be added for example a thousand maybe up to you okay you can leave empty in the case that you um, have no limitations for this but we have right here you limit usage for x eatings okay apply all qualifying eatings and right here is where we're gonna set usage limit per user so how many times a new user can use this coupon for example one so this is where we can apply our limitation okay so this coupon the rrrr can only be used in the case for the customer one single time okay so it's a single use coupon code and of course we can limit the amount of coupons at all so imagine that this coupon can only be used one time independently of the how many people try this coupon gonna be also only one time and it is okay simple easy and effective after it is made you can click into the publish button to make the coupon work WooCommerce let you generate a custom coupon code but i prefer that you customize the stack right here okay into the coupon title after this it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video 
feel free to use the comment section below in the case you don't have any question. Don't forget to check out our Birdless plugin to gain widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site using Elementor or Gutenberg, or Enzu WordPress team, the best free WordPress team that you can start to customize your site in the way that you want. Our growth.net platform, a place where you can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts, and our visualmoto.com amazing website. Go there, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and unlock full access to our entire templates library with hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. In addition with our premium blocks, assets, templates, layouts, plugins, themes, support and many many more pro features in order to create the site of our dreams. And that is, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you tomorrow. All the best.